Alright guys, we're going into the guard passing section of this DVD instructional series. Um, we're going to start with grip breaks because if you control the grips, you control the fight. So, Anissa is going to be on his back here. I'm just going to go over a couple uh, grip breaks to get you out of these sticky situations. Let's scoot it forward a little more. Um, so first thing we're going to do is start from the spider guard. This is where we started from sweeps yesterday. I just want to talk about where your hands need to be so we can avoid just getting tied up and uh, locked down someone's spider guard. So he gets spider guard grips. Wow, he's going to bend one leg, so bend this leg. Yeah, there you go. So we're, whenever we're in spider guard, the guy's stretching us out really far. If we just stay here and just try and yank him around, nothing's gonna, it's not going to work. That, that's what he wants, okay? So we always need to make sure our elbows are in, pinching in as much as possible. Keeping, we don't want to try and stand up too straight like that because it can wear a lot on your back. So we're just keeping good posture, knees bent, so we're ready for anything. He starts to try and unbalance us. Um, so first thing, whichever leg is extended, I pinch my elbows in and I'm going to try and weave my hand in on that side. Okay, as I weave my hand in, I'm lifting his foot, trying to get his heel off my elbow, okay? I can't just weave my hand in, that's not gonna be enough. I weave in and I push up as I drop my elbow down around his heel, okay? So now, once I've done that, I've taken away his spider guard hook and I can start to work from here. All right, but I don't wanna stop there, I wanna do the same thing on the other side, okay? If he goes and just weaves his leg right back in and puts my hook, the hook in again, I do the same thing, okay? Now, from here, all I need to do is I can just yank my arm and break the grip to both sides. But if I want to be a little more forceful with it, I can just step on the leg here, creating like a leverage point so I can really get a good pull if he's got a super strong grip. Same thing on this side. Boom. And we can break grips. It's a fresh start. So now we can enter his guard on our terms rather than trying to pass in, in his field, his game, which is the spider guard in this situation. All right, so one more time. He's got me extended out hard. Good posture with my knees, making sure my back is straight, like if I was doing a deadlift or something. Bring my hand in, elbow down, pop the grip off. Same thing on the other side. All right. If you like to pass with pressure, we can grab inside the knees here and start putting our, our knees out and start, start getting heavy pressure here, which is good. I like to pass more like loose style, like from outside. So I like to break the grips and then start over. Okay. The so last time with those grips, boom, weave in, weave in. Pop the grip, kicking on the leg. If he still has this tight grip on this side, we can do the same thing. Boom. So that's it for a spider guard. Pretty simple. So now Delahiva. He's got a Delahiva hook. He's got, my, let's say, my ankle and my collar. Okay. First things first, we always got to pop the collar grip. Because if I don't take care of this collar grip, he's going to keep my posture broken. And I can't really do anything from here. Because the second I try and put pressure in, he's going to pull me in. And it, it takes my base off. Okay. Whereas if I just resist and just resist, I can't really mount any offense. So it's very important I immediately, both hands just go to the wrist, okay? Push up and off. If you're having a hard time breaking the grip, we need to make sure we attack it to the weak part of his hand, which so I reach deep under his wrist and I turn it. So now I've turned his hand, so now when I push away, it's attacking the, the weak part of his grip, which is the opening, of course, like we talked about uh, on the, the guard passing DVD. Here, turning the wrist, pop it off, okay? Next, attacking this, this uh, grip on our ankle here. We want to come inside his knee, coming down, like following my own leg down, all the way through this hole here. Let's turn this way a little. Reaching down, grabbing his wrist here, and pulling up. This serves a dual purpose of breaking the grip, and I can immediately initiate a pass by just throwing his arm to the side, start working something from there, okay? so. I'm reaching under his leg, sliding down my own shin, grabbing the wrist. Now I'm not pulling straight up, I'm actually turning his hand. See how I turn his hand? That's very important because now I've broken his grip, so now he's just holding onto the fabric, but he doesn't really have a good, uh, like, he doesn't have good control over me anymore. Then it makes it easy to pop the, the grip off of my gi. It's even easier if he's just hooking around the, uh, the outside of my leg, just like a meat hook. Yep. Same thing. Pop it off. Or, if he's just doing that and he's being lazy with it, I can just turn my leg and kick out and away. All right, so just grab my, my leg like this so we can see. All I'm doing there is just turning away and kicking off, so there's nothing really holding me once I turn my leg like that. Next grip break, let's say we're in uh, spider guard and the leg lasso on this arm. So spider hook on here, and then the leg lasso on this one, around, the, around my arm. Yep. So here, this is like this, the spider uh, leg lasso. So same thing. Here, here I'm really tied up. A lot of times if you're, in the, if you're in this position, it's very tempting to just drop to a knee and try and like just base up like this. But from here, we're not really gonna be able to uh, 
break his grips. So I need to make sure I can maintain standing posture and I do the same thing. I weave in, pop the grip off. Same thing on this side, except instead of weaving in, I weave out around the outside, palm up like I'm trying to hold a, a teacup, okay? Not let it spill all the way out. Then I can drop the teacup, but once I'm there, I just come up like a, turning my hand up, okay? Palm up, turn out, here. And we can use that leverage to pop the grip there. And then the final grip break, which is very useful, that I don't see a lot of people doing to address the barambolo is grabbing the belt. People are always grabbing the belt now, especially in uh, the lighter divisions of competition. People grab the belt. This is a very hard grip to break, but I have something that works really well for me, and I think it'll work for you too. We're going to come under the, the hand here and create like a, a, a bar under his wrist. Okay. What this does is it bends the wrist and it creates that opening that I always talk about, about breaking grips, opening it to the open part of his fingers here, pulling this way. So I come under. If I need to, I can use both hands and then I lift straight up. Okay. Breaking grips is super important because it resets the position. So now in this moment that he's going to try and regain my grip, his grip on me, that's when I can actually start to attack the leg drag or whatever because he doesn't have any control over me at that moment. Okay. And that's how we're going to be breaking grips throughout this whole guard passing sequence. I'm going to break the grips first, then go to the pass. Okay.